On getting up early next morning, we were greeted by a beautiful sunny day, blue skies, and mist rolling through the valley. Time for breakfast. Outside was an artist's paradise, with the clouds floating through the hills, as though happy to enhance this amazing scenery. I can tell you that the camera in no way does it justice. The hostel has several chalets, each with three or four bedrooms, showers and laundry room below, and lounge, dining room and small kitchen above. We were soon enjoying breakfast that we had bought on the way and a great view out the window. Then the eagerly anticipated and world-renowned mountain railway. Starting point right next to the fjord, the steepest railway in Europe. National Geographic Traveller magazine named it as number six of the best train journeys in Europe. Uh, about to go up on the train up the, at Flum and we're going to go up the mountain and uh, this train journey is reputed to be one of the best in the world so we're really looking forward to that. The museum has a video of the trip if you can't make it and there are other attractions and shops there. I still remember the feeling I had looking out the window seeing the cloud in the valley, the sun peeping through above, and knowing this would be special. We're soon on our way. The Flam Railway was built to be a link between the main Oslo-Bergen Railway and the ships that sailed into the fjord. Many tourists still take the Bergen train from Oslo and then do a round trip down to Flam, returning the next day. An engine at the front and the back, the one in 18 gradient, requiring a lot of power. The big attraction is the view out of the window. And as we ascended out of Flum, we were already getting picture book scenery. and the glacial river still snaking its way down. This is the second train of the day and it's relatively empty. When the afternoon cruise ships come in, it's very busy. Every now and then a great plume of water can be seen dancing down the mountainside. It's the land of a million waterfalls, and that's just this valley. The only thing that can compare, in my experience, was the train ride from Cusco in Peru up to Machu Picchu, when I still remember the only window that we could open was in the toilet. So the photographers congregated there and took turns to shoot. Halfway up, we pass the down train coming down. Then off we go, up, up, up.
troll spotting. Ah, there's his ladder. Above is the railway track that will pass in a few minutes. And then the famous Josephson waterfall. A free fall of 305 feet. The train stops for five minutes for us to see it and sisters dance to heavenly music. Wow! After that, the rest of the ride is an anticlimax. Everybody just talks about it. We're nearing the snow line, and it's the 18th of June. These are the mountains that have inspired poets and writers, musicians and philosophers through the ages. finally reach our destination. So what's the verdict? Fantastic! Really simple. I enjoyed it great. I think it's, it's worth going. Now the return trip. The good news is that we get to see it all again. This time, it feels better. I'm not frantic to get every shot. And I'm enjoying it. The troll is nowhere to be seen. chatting to the other passengers. This couple actually lives here and were very helpful explaining things to us. For some reason the going down was like riding down on a bike after the strain of riding it up. Even Thomas the engine was quiet and relaxed. What a trip. After an hour or so, we arrived back in Flum. The whole trip had taken about two hours. The cruise ships moor up on the fjord about a hundred yards from the train. One of the great joys of the land is its accessibility and a great way to see it is a cruise. Flum is a must-visit place.
Guna pointed out this boat to me. It's a library. Room for 6,000 books aboard. It visits many remote locations. In addition to the museum and restaurants, there are many shops here. Even a mal. This troll found work as a god. One of the restaurants was formerly a railway carriage. So back to pick up our things and continue the adventure. We wanted to see the church there, but it was being renovated, so we got to see the outside. And a house with a grass roof. Then on to Bergen, a place I've wanted to visit for a long time. It's about a three-hour drive. But in Norway, the, the scenery is always amazing. So it was a very enjoyable three hours. We stopped in Voss for a coffee at the famous Fleischer's Hotel. A beautiful 19th century hotel in the Swiss style with plenty of character and good coffee. Then, on to Bergen. It's early afternoon and we're only halfway through today's adventure. Next time, exploring Bergen, a world heritage city, the gateway to the fjords, the waterfront, the Bergen, the funicular railway, Old Bergen, and what's to eat here? Amazing city.